You know who this is. Yeah. He's joining <laughs> us on the desk. Uh, it's Sid great to Sid. see you, Sid. By the way, I'm Sid. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I like it. Nice to meet you. I like it. Um, you are obviously uh, the face, if not one of the faces of the league every year, obviously. How many of these media functions <laughs> do you have under your belt? We just, actually, I was just coming here. They talked about it. This is, this is the 11th. Wow. So they started doing this, um, yeah, a few years into to when I was playing. And, um, you know, it's just a good way to, to come here, get some stuff done. And um, during the season, you know, we're pretty busy. So it's, it's good for everyone to kind of get you in one spot. Uh, we understand that this can be annoying. You don't have to say it. We know talking to guys like us can be a little bit annoying. I noticed that you did uh, a podcast. You did Spit and Chicklets with a couple yeah. guys you know pretty well. And you opened up a little bit. Was that fun for you to do? Yeah, it was. I mean, it was pretty unique, too, because I play with both those guys. And right. I felt like, you know, we probably sat there for, you know, a little over an hour at least. But we probably could have spent, you know, five, six hours just talking about, you know, old stories. Right. And, um, you know, all that experience over the years of, of playing with those guys. It was a lot of fun. They were great guys in the room, great guys to be around. Um, so, yeah, we were able to reminisce a little bit and, right. uh, and have some fun. But it's a pretty cool, um, pretty cool podcast, and those guys uh, get a lot of guys on there and get some great stuff. Yeah. Do you feel like as you've gotten older that you've been able – I mean, we haven't seen a ton of your personality throughout your yeah. career. But as you're getting older, you feel a little bit more comfortable kind of sharing in those stories? Yeah, I think so. I yeah. mean – kind of find your way and um, you know I think as a young player too you put so much pressure on yourself to to make sure that you're doing the right thing saying the right thing and um, it takes a while to form and shape your, your own opinions and that kind of thing and um, but yeah I think that's something that I've gotten more comfortable with over the years right um, all right let's dive into the hockey stuff uh, no Phil Kessel in the room this coming season. Yeah. Hey, what was it like playing with Phil? Because he's about as, from what I've heard, he's yeah. as unique as they come. <laughs> yeah. Very talented, as unique as they come. And B, what, what, how does this change the team in your opinion going into the year? Yeah, I mean, I haven't played anyone, played with anyone like Phil, and I probably won't ever play with anyone like Phil. And uh, he was a lot of fun to be around. Um, obviously, we all know his, his personality and, and that kind of thing, but. Uh, you know, it's, it's not going to be easy to replace him. I mean, you know, he was a, a big part of us, you know, winning two Stanley Cups. Um, you know, every year uh, he always produced and found ways. And, and I think that's that's hard to replace. But at the same time, um, you know when you lose, um, there's always consequences and things happen. And, and that was part of it. So, you know, unfortunately, that's, that's the way it shapes out. But uh, he was great. He was great to be around. Uh, they're going to love him in Arizona. Why does everyone say he's unique? Like, what? What about him? Like, what's, we see the hot dogs <laughs> and the Stanley Cup and yeah. stuff like that. Like, what yeah. makes him tick? It's, it's not that stuff, even. It's just, yeah. it's just the things that he says, uh, his outlook. Um, he's just, there's no filter. I mean, he says it exactly the way he feels. Right. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think, you know, sometimes, you know, you don't always get that. I mean, there are days where guys don't want to say that or, um, try to keep a good positive mindset and you know what <laughs> if he's not feeling it that day he's gonna let you know right. and uh, I think we all respect and appreciate that. Is, was he underrated as a player just because of the kind of the distraction that he can also bring? Uh, he's a great passer he yeah. can snipe like yeah I don't know I don't I don't feel like like we would look at it that way maybe right. outside that was the case but I mean I, I saw him and what he was able to do uh, on a nightly basis I mean the shot he had I mean you know, this is a guy that didn't need any time or space. He felt like he kept him in check all night and he'd have two goals because right. he ripped him by. You know, it was right. incredible what he did. So uh, underrated passer, like you said, on the power play, the plays he was able to make. Um, he's unique uh, in every way, but he's a pretty amazing hockey player. Right. Uh, going back to, and, and forgive me if you don't want to, but it was, it was an incredible story to see the quality teams and what happened in the first round of that postseason. Because yeah. you weren't exclusive. Like, it was a bloodbath. Mm -hmm. Um, when you look back on it, where do you, what do you think happened for your club? Because to see that happen to a Sidney Crosby team mm -hmm. is obviously unique. Where, where do you think that went wrong? Um, well, I think, you know what, I've said this many times, and we give the Anders credit. They did exactly what we expected them to do and what made them successful all year. I mean, they, they found ways to just, you know, score that timely goal, uh, play well defensively, and wait for teams to make mistakes. And... Um, I think on the flip side, I think if we look at it, we, we beat ourselves in a way. You know, we made those those mistakes that maybe weren't necessarily forced um, by them. They were ones that were kind of self-inflicted a bit. And, uh, you know, that, that hurts when you lose a playoff series and you feel like you beat yourself a little bit. Um, 
it hurts, but you also know that that's what they try to get you to do. And uh, we fell into that trap, and I uh, give them credit. They capitalized and, uh, you know, found a way to, to make pretty easy work of us in four games. So that's not something that sits well, but it happens. you got to learn from it. You kind of mentioned in the consistency there. We talked to a lot of guys this week, and they've talked about consistency. Is it? Is it frustrating to have to change in a cap world your team? I mean, you've had a couple different variations of the Pittsburgh Penguins mm -hmm. while you've been there. Is yeah. it frustrating for you as a player to have to move those parts? Yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, you don't think about it a whole lot just because you're, um, you're in the grind. Mentally, I think you're you're prepared to have to deal with that. So you don't want to give in to the fact that hey. We're going to look different next year, regardless of if you win or lose. Um, it's it's tough. It's tough to keep teams together, and I mean, uh, you know, we've had to go through that. You look at Chicago, and you know what they had to go through. Um, but yeah, you know, win or lose, you have to expect turnover, and right. that's the way it is. And everyone has to deal with it. But it would be nice if there was a way to keep teams together. And I mean, growing up watching the teams that I watch, and I'm sure for everyone, you know that's uh, followed hockey for a long time it was a little bit different you know yeah. you saw teams that were together you saw the personalities kind of come together on teams and those roles and what they played in teams winning that was pretty cool to see that all kind of unfold year after Do year you kind of wish yeah, you winning. played in, in that kind of era where you guys with the same crew of guys <laughs> well, together yeah. like eight eight years. would have been really good <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i mean that's that's pretty neat i mean you think about and that islander team i think someone said a stat like there's only two different players uh, two or three different players of the four years they won, which right. is pretty incredible looking at that. And those Detroit teams, um, you know, kind of you look at the stars of that team, but also, you know, the Drapers and Malpies and McCarty's and all those guys that had yeah. these big personalities that you followed year after year. So, um, yeah, it would be nice to have that, but that's that's probably not the case. Um, how, how did you try and improve this summer? It's odd for a guy with your resume to ask that question, but I know you guys challenge yourselves constantly. Yeah. What, what what did you work on? I think just trying to stay stay fast. I mean, you look at the game, it's just more and more of a speed game, and um, the guys coming in are, are young and fast, and uh, I feel like every year uh, there's such a huge emphasis on that part of the game. So I think as you get older, that's something that takes a little bit more you know work and, and time to be able to, to make sure you maintain that. So just, just staying fast and... Uh, that allows you to, to make plays and, and do what you want to do a little bit easier. How long do you want to keep playing? At least seven more years. So, <laughs> uh, you know, I, as, as long as I can. I mean, it's it's one of those questions that I think as you're, you know, when you're younger, you don't really think about it a whole right. lot. But I think as you get older, you see guys, you know, some of the guys that I'm really close with, I see them start to, to retire. You know, Chris Kunitz, you know, he retires right. this year. And, um you know, you start to think about it a little bit more. It goes through your mind. But um, as long as I can play, I love the game and and uh, I love competing and, and hope that I can play for a long time. You're talking about working on speed, and I'm like going through my head. I'm like, you know, this is one of the greatest players that I've ever seen, and here he is off season working on something new. I, is that is that fun for you? Is the work just as fun as you know the runs to cups and stuff like that? Yeah, I think it, it's different. I think as you get older, I think. Uh, the games and um, you know that part of it I, I enjoy probably the most is just being in the game the heat of the moment and right. you know having to make those big plays and um, you know different points in the season that get tough I mean even when I missed time and, and wasn't able to play it wasn't just the good times you miss you miss having to rally around and being around the guys and right. um, going through those different things so I think there's a lot of different things I mean the preparation is part of it but I think you know being in the heat of the moment being in the uh, in the games is the best part. Right. Ramuski's going to retire your number later this yeah. month? Yeah. yeah. When did you, how, how well recently were you told that was going to happen? Uh, it literally just a few days ago, uh, we were kind of talking about it. And, uh, you know, in years past, it didn't work out just with the schedule. I was about to say, why hadn't it already yeah. happened? Okay, I, yeah. was gonna, I was going to ask that, but I, I'm not, I don't schedule these no, things. No, it's, it's just one of those things schedule-wise it didn't work out. And uh, the fact that, you know, the coach that was there uh, when I when I played there, Donald Dufresne, he's actually coaching there now. Uh, the trainer who was there when I played, he's the trainer uh, awesome. there as well. So that's it's nice, it's nice that uh, they're going to be there. It's it's going to be great. I'm really excited for it. It's going to be pretty emotional. It's hard to believe it's been this long. I I can't believe it. It's gone by pretty fast, but 
Uh, I'm really excited to go there and, and experience that. That was a pretty special place and a special couple of years. Oh, that's going to be a blast. That yeah. evening is just going to be so special yeah. for you. I can only you, imagine. You were the face of Ramuski for a while. Sid mentioned face of the NHL, face of Canadian hockey in some ways. Uh, there's some talks going on between the NHL and the PA right now. Would you like the Olympics to be part of those conversations moving forward, even if you're not a part of it, if you're a part of it regardless? Yeah, I think so. I mean, yeah. it's it's such a great experience, and I think, you know, people love it. Um, you see the, you know, the way everyone rallies, rallies around it, uh, follows it. You want to see uh, the best players in the world you know, um, competing against each other, and, and I think as a player, to be a part of that, you know, just the hockey part's great, but just the whole experience itself is something to be a part of. So uh, it would make a lot of sense, I think, to, to do that, and hopefully that's the case. Where's the golden goal rank for you? It's pretty high. We had Taves here, and he was he was talking about how great a yeah, moment that was. was. You got the goal. <laughs> I know, it, was, <laughs> it was awesome. Just the whole way it played out, I remember kind of struggled to score that, that whole Olympics, and uh, it wasn't easy, and we lost against the U.S. there, and... It was it was a bit of a struggle at different points, but uh, I remember Jerome saying, you know, you're going to find a way. Don't worry, we're going to score a big one. And sure enough, we connected for that one. So it's it's pretty hard to top that. Nice. Yeah, you had your you had your best moment when it mattered <laughs> in that tournament. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. uh, I still remember uh, when you were in a, a random hotel lobby and everyone realized you were going to be a Pittsburgh Penguin back in the day. Yeah, you, how about you, that? And you're sitting it's here. It's so as, weird to yeah. think back. That's how it was. 32 eh? year old, still with many years ahead of you, hopefully. Yeah. And uh, it's a pleasure, Sid. No, yeah. Great to see you. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks for having me. There was Sydney Crosby. Thanks for popping Thanks, by. Of the Pittsburgh yeah. Penguins.